Okay, here's the thing. Creating good content is not about having the fanciest gear from day one. What matters more is how you use what you have. With just a sprinkle of knowledge, even basic equipment can produce amazing results. So here's my starter kit for success with several budget options to make sure you can get in the game and make great videos. Let's talk essentials. You don't need to break the bank to begin creating content. Genuinely, a smartphone camera like this or an entry-level DSLR like this can work wonders for visuals. And an external microphone, this can make sure your audio isn't left behind. Lighting, well, simple LED panels like this or natural light can illuminate your story without costing a fortune. Remember, these are just starting points. There's always room to grow and upgrade your channel uh, as you evolve and as your equipment evolves. But as it's one of the most common questions I get, while I'm here, I'm gonna share my suggestions for beginners to get started. And I'll give you options. Camera. I'm already assuming that you know why you wanna get a camera and upgrade and don't need me to convince you of the benefits. Something like the Canon R100 is a great entry point as it shoots 4K, can capture slow motion at 60 frames a second, and I'll come on to these points in the next video about settings, and it has lots of features and gives you full control. And you can get it with a lens for around £500. If you want to spend more money, look at the R10 or the R7, which I'm shooting on now. But remember that a lot of the image quality comes from good lenses. Factor that into your budget. If you can't spend 500 quid on a camera, and a lot of people can't, then your phone will be good enough to get you started and you can spend what money you have on things such as audio and lighting. Audio. It's arguably more important than the visuals. I've said it a million times, but people will watch a dodgy picture if it has good audio and they can hear what's happening clearly, but they won't watch a video with great visuals and poor audio. So make it a priority. Don't rely on your camera's microphone or your phone's microphone. Look at getting something like the Rode Video Micro, like, hang on, I've got one somewhere. The Rode Video Micro, or the Joby Wavo Mobile, which are around 30 or 40 pounds. You can get these as part of vlogger kits for phones too, and they'll give you much better sound. If you want to upgrade from there, then the Rode Video Mic Pro has been pretty standard for years. I'm a big fan of the Rode Wireless Go or Pro Kits too, if you want to have a mic clipped to you and be further away from your camera. Also, I'm about to try out this, the Joby Wavo Pro, which gives you some indicators of how loud your audio is. Haven't opened it yet, can't tell you about it. Lighting. I can't stress enough how good natural light can be, and it's often the best choice, regardless of the equipment available. But if you can't film during good daylight or don't have access to a window by nice light, then you can look at getting something like these cheap softboxes on Amazon, or one of my go-to choices, the Godox SL60, and the softbox, which is what I'm using here which is a classic choice for around 200 pounds. Basically anything you can point at you and diffuse the light a little bit to make it softer can work. You can even buy diffusion paper on Amazon to put over things you may already have. And yes, a ring light can be fine. If it means your audience can see you clearly and connect with you, then it works. There's a thousand ways to improve your lighting setup. Google three point lighting for a good starting point. Location. When it comes to shooting, location can make all the difference. Don't be tempted to film with you or your subject close to a wall. Get away from it so you can add distance and blur that background. It'll look far classier. And your sound can be improved by your choice of location too. A room with high ceilings or lots of hard surfaces can make the sound bounce around and have lots of reverb. The more soft furnishings, the better. For a real DIY solution, if you need it, hang a duvet up right behind the camera on a couple of light stands or whatever you can use to raise it up. So then your voice hits that before anything else. It can work. The best advice I can give you about equipment is don't worry about it. Use what you have and what you can comfortably afford and just start doing it. Film something, edit it, move on to the next, make mistakes, learn from them and keep going. Nobody in this industry knows everything about everything. Consistency combined with gradual learning is what's gonna make you better. You can't be the best right at the beginning. In part two, I'll go into all the settings you need to make your videos look great from frame rates and shutter speeds to exposure, audio levels, and more. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and think about subscribing. Oh, and do one more thing for me. Be a good human for fuck's sake.